G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today's video is about one of the on the track mules. It's a mild chili con carne. It's not dehydrated. This is like one of the MREs, meal ready to eat. So I thought I'd give this a go because I haven't tried this one yet. And again, I got this from Survival Supplies Australia. So I put a link down below to their website and to this meal, just in case you're interested. So go and have a look. So let's read this out first. This Mexican inspired meal is made with lean mints and is a real crowd pleaser with its light hint of chili. So it's a fresh food, Australian owned, and they say hot in three minutes. And the net weight uh, is 250 grams and it's one serve. That's what they say on the back. Let's go through the instructions. Heating instructions. Place sealed pouch in a boiler or sorry, place sealed pouch in boiling water for three to five minutes or empty pouch into a pan and heat, th uh, heat through. Best enjoyed with rice, pasta or mashed potato. Store in a cool, dry place. Refrigerate once uh, open for up to three days. And this one is shelf uh, 5 3 2023. So that's the 5th of March. And there's another two years left on this for the shelf life. That'd be ideal to throw in your pack, throw in a car, or your get home bag, or your bug out bag. Now it says it's ideal to have with the uh, rice, pasta or mashed potato, but it's just the chilli con carne in here that I know. And the way I'm going to be doing this today is I'll heat it up in the pot I've got with me there. And I'll give it a taste and I'll let you know what I think of it. So let me just get my pot out. So if you're wondering where we are, again, I'm at the Wungong Dam, and it's lovely. The sun's out. Yeah. And I'm actually probably a quarter to a third of the way across the dam. I've got a car park there, down the other end as well, you people turn up. So you may hear the odd noise of cars or people walk by, but I'll do my best. So I've got the little gas stove with me today, which is the BRS, which as you probably know is one of my favourite little stoves now. I do have a few other stoves, but this seems to come with me everywhere I go. And I've got three of them. So, and I think I've told the story before. I bought three because people said they didn't last long, but they were small and they were lightweight. So I've got three just in case they break but not, not one of the three has broken and I've had them for quite a few years now. It might help if you actually use a bigger pot, not a small cup. Move that over. Looks good. It smells okay. Let's move that onto the floor. It doesn't spill out everywhere. Don't want to knock it over. Spoon, see if we can get any more out because it feels like there's quite a bit left in that pack. Now, because it's like an MRE meal and it's not freeze dried or dehydrated, it is going to be heavier to carry. 
but if you don't mind the weight that looks like it may be an option Go, it's on. And while that warms up, we'll come back up. This goes through the nutrition. The energy is 1540 kilojoules uh, per serving, protein 28 grams, fat total 13. Saturated 4.1, carbs 33, sugars 6.7 grams, sodium 790 milligrams. So let's get that picked up, sir. Don't stick in. Uh, what well, have we got? Ingredients tomato pulp, red kidney beans, beef mince. A bit of celery, onion, carrot, red capsicum, Mexican spice, uh, canola oil, salt, garlic, sugar, firming agent, activity regulators, E330, antioxidant E300, and it says soy sulfites it contains and may contain peanut. Made in Australia from at least 38% of Australian ingredients. Give this another stir. If you follow my channel, I've done different meal reviews. This similar to this as well. A different company, different brand. So I'll, at the end, I'll put one of the ending bits where you've got choice of sub subscribing or go on, and I'll put the the food um, page on there or the list, so you can go down all and choose which ones you want to have a look at if you want. This seems to be doing pretty quick. Let's grab a bean. Yep, warming up. Oh, I got a kick of the spice when they said it's a mild one. It's not so mild. <laughs> Unless I just got the spice all in one go. Alright, let's get one bit of rubbish put back in there so I don't leave anything behind. I say even doing things like this, always take your rubbish with you and leave no trace. Mm. Nearly there. Well, it's been about three, two, three, maybe four minutes. I'm just heating it on a low flame. I'm using the little Turks Titanium 550ml pot here. And that's got plenty of room in it. Right, I think. Oh, big chunk of tomato. Mmm. That's hot. It's ready to go now. I don't know if you can see that. Let's put this camera down again. Looking pretty good. Right. So here we are. The main taste test now. It's not too bad. Plenty of sauce in it. Nice beans. Mm. And I've heated it all the way well. Mince, I think they could have a, a bit more in. It looks like there's more actual beans than there is mince. Or the beef. And you have to excuse the noise, got people walking up to me now, so. I may move on the other side, but let's see. Now I got used to the spice, it is mild. You can feel it, that little bit of a tingle. 
taste wise it is nice it is nice a lot better than some of the freeze-dried meals I eat yep. have a few more bites Lovely lady and her parents walk by. It's enjoying a day out there. And I'm still eating, it's nice. Now, I get asked a lot in uh, PMs and on other sites would I recommend this or any meal I do or anything I review. Now, all my reviews are 100% honest. If I don't like it, I'll tell you. If I think it's no good, I'll let you know. But it's all based on my own opinion. But this meal, yeah, it's a winner. So, would I recommend it? Well, the way I recommend things are what I think would they work for me. Do I like the taste? The taste of this, yeah, I do like it. It's probably one of the nearest to a fresh meal you'll get. Would I carry it when I do multi days? The answer to that is yes. I, I have done with other sorts of the MRE meals ready to eat a few times. And the extra weight, oh, it's been worth carrying it just to have a decent meal. Something that's nice, warm, and tastes fresh and got flavour in it. Yeah, a lot of the freeze dried meals, they even though they've improved over the years they haven't quite got the balance of flavour with the freeze drying and having to rehydrate them uh, with something like this you've probably got 90% 95% guarantee that you're going to have some nice flavour but like I said in excuse me sniffing like I said in uh, the previous review I did of a meal a couple of meals ago I did one and it was disgusting so that's why I've started to make the review meals or review videos of the meals local to home and not out on track because that one that I did not like I couldn't eat it I tasted it I did my best try different about three or four no, that's it three or four small teaspoons and that was enough over with this I'm close to the bottom so yeah it is a, a decent meal I like it and I will carry it with me and I will eat it again and like I said I got it from Survival Spies Australia so go down click on the link and have a look what they've got so I'm gonna finish eating this and if you've enjoyed the video and you haven't subscribed already Please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Excuse me, mouth watering. Click on the like button, the thumbs up. Click on the notification bell and select all. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun, and take care. And click on the food wherever it is. I'm going to look at all the other reviews I've done in the meals.